Hi guys. Today I'm going to recap a 2022 fantasy movie called The School for Good and Evil. This movie is about the quest of two ordinary girls to become the princess and villain that they are destined to be. So, how will their fairy tale unfold? Let's find out. Long ago, two brothers, Rian and Rafal, founded the School for Good and Evil with the intention of educating fairy tale heroes and villains respectively. However, over time, that balance would break. Rafal, the dean of the School for Evil would grow bored and tired over good having the upper hand over the years. He forced Rian into a duel and started overwhelming Rian with his new tricks. Blood magic, a forbidden magic which is uncontrollable and would consume the user with its chaos. Rian was forced to the edge of a cliff but managed to grab his brother and throw him off, causing Rafal to meet his demise. Years later, in the small village of Gavaldon, two best friends, Sophie and Agatha are introduced. Sophie with her gorgeous appearance, yet a mediocre and boring life, and Agatha, the village's witch. The villagers would cuss at her, even intending to kill and also burn her family, but Sophie is always there to stand up for her. The two of them visit a bookshop together and quickly learn about the school for good and evil. The bookshop owner tells them the story of a girl from Gavaldon who was taken by a mysterious figure 20 years ago under a blood-red sky, and was never heard from again. It is believed that she was wanted by the school and taken there. Agatha is highly skeptical of such stories, while on the other hand, Sophie is highly intrigued. Sophie goes to the village's wishing tree and places a letter on it, wishing for her to be taken to the school to escape her mediocre life. A few nights later, Sophie tries to run away from her village but is intercepted by Agatha, begging for her to stay. Just then, the sky turns blood red and a mysterious figure drags Sophie, with Agatha running after them and grabbing Sophie's arms. Afterwards, a giant bird-like creature swoops in and takes the both of them through a portal to the school for good and evil. To their surprise, Sophie is dropped to the school for evil and Agatha, the school for good. As they enter their respective schools, they argue with the school teachers, believing that they are mixed up, but everyone tells them that there were never any mix-ups or mistakes. Agatha also wants to return to Gavaldon, but is told that it is impossible to return. The two then meet again in the opening ceremony, with Agatha wearing a much more colorful outfit and Sophie wearing a gloomier one. After a speech from Dovey, the Dean of the School for Good and Lesso, the Dean of the School for Evil, a performance by Princes of the School of Good follows. Ted Ros, son of King Arthur, quickly steals everyone's attention, good or bad. He puts on a show, managing to defeat each one of the princes alone by himself. One of the students from Evil steps up and picks a fight with Ted Ros, using a giant axe magically fortified by their Dean's magic. But even that isn't enough to defeat Ted Ros, the fight ending with the student's arm being cut off by his own axe. The prince catches everyone's eye, including Sophie and Agatha. Shortly after, the schoolmaster, Rian, makes an appearance at the ceremony. Sophie and Agatha plead their case but are quickly turned down, with Rian telling them that there are no mistakes in their respective chosen schools. At night, Sophie and Agatha return to their dorms and receive a very cold welcome from their roommates. Seems like they also believe that they don't belong there. Agatha tries to escape and walks on the school's ledges, but is chased off to the school's library by a cupid, guarding the ledges. In the library, Agatha stays hidden and overhears a conversation between the two deans of the schools, who also agrees that Agatha and Sophie don't belong there. Just after they get out of the library, blood starts flowing inside the room and a figure appears. Raffle. The man tells Agatha to stay away from Sophie and tells her that she belongs to him now, before disappearing once again. Agatha runs to the school for evil and takes Sophie with her to meet the schoolmaster. Entering his building, they find a magical story in pen which is writing their stories and narrating them. The schoolmaster appears afterwards, making a deal with the two girls. If Sophie from the school of evil manages to get a true love's kiss, which Good had always had, Sophie will swap to the school of Good and Agatha would return to Gavaldon. Sophie has her eyes set on Tedros and Agatha agrees to help her. The two girls carry on with their new school life, in which they struggle in their respective classes. They can't keep on failing, however. For if they fail three times in their classes, demise will come for them. Agatha witnessed one of her friends, Prince Gregor Charming, son of Prince Charming, surrounded by a whirl of clouds and thunder and disappear after three failures. 
it turns out that three failures will transform the person to another creature in the world. A bird-like creature swoops onto the princesses in the middle of a class, but stops in front of Agatha. That creature is actually Gregor. Tedros quickly comes to her aid and kills the creature, not knowing that it was his friend. Agatha is grief-stricken and Dovey would comfort her, also telling her that she's the most princess-like person that has come in a long time, for her empathy towards others, even creatures. On the other side, Sophie is assaulted in her class as the students show off their powers. One of the students summons a small demon dragon and attacks Sophie with it. As Sophie runs away and cries for help, a wasp swarm breaks through the window and attacks the dragon, guarding Sophie. The wasp swarm slowly takes the form of a human, revealing Raffle for a brief appearance, before flying out through the window once more. Lesso immediately grabs Sophie out of the class and explains to her who Raffle was. She sees a potential in Sophie and believes she could tip the balance between good and evil. She intends to help Raffle, who she believed was her true love. At the cafeteria, Agatha manages to get Sophie and Tedros to talk, but Sophie is quickly taken by a guard to the doom room. Lesso has been waiting there and cuts Sophie's hair to break her spirits of swapping schools, for she believed that Sophie truly belongs at the school of evil. With her low spirits, Raffle appears at Sophie's mirror, managing to brainwash Sophie bit by bit, causing her personality and appearance to change to something more evil than before. On the other side, Tedros seems to take a liking to Agatha, showing interest in her personality, being much different than the typical princesses around him. However, Agatha's goal is to help Sophie be with Tedros. The next day, everyone is shocked by Sophie's new appearance. She has also started to blend in with her evil students, while also growing more distant to Agatha. However, Agatha continues to help Sophie in whatever way she could, helping her to talk and form a bond connection with Tedros. Tedros and Sophie even sit together in the cafeteria which caught the eyes of the entire school for this strange sight. Tedros then invites Sophie to the Evers Ball, which is a dance night for the School of Good. This sparks a small conflict between the students and Tedros, Sophie, and Agatha are called to meet the teachers. It is prohibited for two students in different schools to have a relationship, unless they pass a trial by tale, where the two students are trapped in a dangerous forest at night time, where they must find each other and kiss to pass. They accept and the trial commences at sundown. Agatha manages to turn herself into a pigeon and infiltrates the forest to help Sophie out. As Sophie is assaulted by the dangerous creatures lurking around, Tedros comes to save her but is overwhelmed by a reaper, his sword tossed to the ground. Sophie only stands there and watches, but Agatha comes and saves the day, grabbing and returning Tedros's sword, defeating the reaper. However, causes Tedros to reject Sophie for not trying to help him, and also causes Sophie to despise Agatha for her actions, assuming that she was trying to steal Tedros from her. Sophie returns to her room and finds Raffle appearing once again in her mirror. This time, he offers blood magic for Sophie, which she accepts. The school teachers go to disarray after knowing of Raffle's appearance and search for Sophie. They are easily defeated by Sophie, however, who turns them into living dolls before leaving for the Evers Ball. Arriving at the ball, Sophie takes the form of an old hag, who asks Tedros to keep his promise and have a dance with her. Tedros refuses and a short fight occurs, with some of the princes drawing their swords against Sophie. She shows off her new powers, infusing the swords with blood magic that burns the prince's hands and leaves the ball. Right afterwards, some students find the living dolls of the teachers, which spark a fire in the students of School of Good. They storm to the School of Evil and attack the students. In doing so, they break the law where the good defends, and the evil attacks, causing them to magically switch places and outfits, where now the good becomes the evil and the other way around. A big fight breaks out between the students, with the once evil students using their magic to fight against the once good students. In the midst of the chaos, Agatha confronts Sophie, but she is tossed aside by the blood magic. Sophie then turns into a raven and makes her way to the schoolmaster's building. Arriving at the building, Sophie meets the schoolmaster, who turns out to be Raffle in his disguise. It is revealed that Raffle didn't die after fighting against Rianne, and killed his brother instead, using his identity afterwards. Sophie is manipulated and kisses Raffle, which causes the two schools to crumble. Sophie realizes what she has done and starts regretting everything. Suddenly, Agatha appears crashing through the window, with Tedros following shortly after. 
The prince, however, is easily beaten and overwhelmed by Raffle. Raffle uses the story and pen to attack Agatha, but instead pierces through Sophie, who pushes Agatha away to safety. This causes the destruction of the two schools to be undone, as Sophie slowly turns to good. With Sophie and Tedros out of commission, Agatha runs and grabs Tedros's sword and slashes Raffle, defeating him in an instant. She runs towards her dying best friend right after, who apologizes for everything that has happened. In Agatha's arms, Sophie passes away. As Agatha mourns and kisses her best friend, she can hear her heart beating once again. Sophie wakes up after receiving her true love kiss from her best friend and the two hug it out. After the chaos, the teachers rush to find that to their surprise, the students of good and evil are now united, no longer differentiating with one another. It is the start of a revolution, a fresh start for the school for good and evil. Agatha and Sophie decide to return to Gavaldon together, leaving the world behind. Back at Gavaldon, the two friends carried on with their lives, while also keeping their magic powers from their adventures. Just when they thought everything was over, an arrow from Tedros shot through a portal to Gavaldon, calling for Agatha to return. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and see you, next time.